it's Thursday. Happy Thursday! Um, this is going to be a long video because I want to talk about something kind of hysterical. Um, as you may or may not know, um, I'm a web developer. I can also do web design, blah, 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 whatever. So as probably virtually every other web developer on the planet, I have a personal website where you can go and request services, hire me if you need to, whatever. Anyway, um, I don't get a lot of traffic on that website, and I don't really care because I have a regular 9-to-5 job. So, um, but it does happen occasionally that people contact me through the website or find me on whatever LinkedIn or whatever the hell. Um, but when I do get emails, they're pretty rare. Um, and being a web developer, it is basically my job to be on the interwebs all day long. I am on the internet for work. I usually am on the internet for fun. Um, so I spend probably a good 10 to 12 hours a day online. So. I know about almost every single conceivable hello, um, scam there is. And besides that, I am not the kind of person to just believe anything you tell me. I am usually pretty good at smelling shit. <laughs> when you're trying to tell me shit, I'm probably going to know about it. So. Someone, uh, I believe this happened Wednesday, sorry, Tuesday night. Most of this happened yesterday, but Tuesday night, someone contacted me through my website. And um, the very first thing after reading this first contact, I was like, 98% sure this is a bunch of bull. So let's see what he said. His name is Russell Evan, and he says, My name is Russell Evan. Do you do website design for new company, and do you accept credit card? Space, question mark, question mark, question mark. Alright, so, whatever. I'll email him back. Doesn't take me any time. And, um, also, I, I kind of like trolling scammers because they're not going to scam me, and I kind of consider it my civic duty. If I can make them waste their time on me, then that's less time they have to potentially scam someone who actually might fall for it. So, this is going to be maybe fun. Hi Russell, yes, I can do company web design or development. Please let me know more about your requirements and budget for the project. Thanks. So he emails me back. Literally, it was two hours later, which is another flag, because this was at, this was well after business hours. Although, as you will find out later, he claims he's in California, so okay, whatever. California's a few hours behind us, um, so maybe he's just winding down his business day. That's fine. He says, I have business which I want to turn into large-scale business. Now it located in California and the company is based on importing and exporting of salon equipment such as dryer, hair cream, weave-on, hairdressing, clippers. I need a best of the best layout design for it. Can you handle that for me? Space question mark period. So I need to, I need you to check out this site, but I need something more perfect than this if it's possible. And he gives me a link to a website that sells clothing or something. I have a private consultant that has the text content and logo for the site space period. The site would only be information, so I need you to give me an estimate. I want same number of pages with the example site I gave you to check including videos and blogs. I want only English language. I don't have a domain yet, but I want the domain name as 
I'll omit the domain name because privacy reasons. I will update, you will be updating the site for me. I will be providing the images, logos, and content for the site. I want the site up and running before ending of next two months. My budget is 2000 to 5000 Give me your personal cell phone number. Are you the owner? So I'm trying to figure out what the scam is here. His point number eight is, give me your personal cell phone number. So I'm like, oh, is this one of those scams where they harvest your cell phone number and do whatever the scammers do with it? Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. Um, Hi Russell, do you have a preferred CMS? If not, I suggest WordPress. Will you be entering the content or would you need for me to? If you need me to manage your content, additional charges would apply. Do you have a WCAG color scheme? If I understand correctly, the site will not be selling products, only displaying them. Do you anticipate updating the product pages into a storefront in the future? Will you be purchasing your domain and hosting or would you need me to? Here's my estimate based on my understanding of your needs. Purchase domain name, $50, hosting setup fee, $50, hosting monthly charge, $50, install WordPress, $100, color scheme, $150, wireframes, $2,500, WordPress theme, $3,500. Two months is an acceptable time frame. If this fits your needs, please let me know so I can draw up contract papers. I would require a non-refundable non deposit of $1,000 to begin work. Those prices are not really overinflated. Um, the non-refundable deposit would normally, if this was an actual legit request, would be about $500, but I know this guy's a scammer, so I said $1,000 because, hey, if he wants to give me $1,000, I'll take $1,000 from a scammer. He replies back with, yet again, give me your personal cell phone number and thanks for your response. I am okay with the estimate and I want to proceed, so I will pay you $1,500 down payment for the job using my credit card so we can work can commence ASAP. I understand the content for the site would need to be needed so as for the job to commence, so regarding the content and I will need a little favor from you. A, he's asking for my personal cell phone number again. And B, I will need a little favor from you. I don't even know you, bro. Hi, Russell. Thanks for the quick reply. I will draw up the contracts and mail them to you within 24 hours. Then I can provide you a portal for the deposit. After the contracts and deposit are finished, we can connect either via Skype or phone, whichever is easier for you. I'm not going to give him my phone number. He replies back, but I need a little favor for it from you. Hi, Russell. Please describe your favor so that I can see if the contract will need to be amended. If the favor is difficult to describe via email, please let me know and I can set up a chat session. Because you're not getting my phone number, bro. He says, and the reason why I need the favor from you is because the consultant that has the content and logo for the website does not have the facility to charge credit cards and also and I also am presently in the hospital with my son for surgery so I will be glad if you can help me out with this favor you're in the hospital that's convenient your consultant won't need to charge the credit card I will sorry to hear about your son if you would like for me to call you, please provide a phone number, otherwise I can chat, set up a chat instance. Apparently, I misunderstood what he meant by his consultant needing to charge the credit card. He says, the favor I need from you is, I would give you my card's info to charge $6,500. So, $1,500 would be down payment for my website, and the remaining $5,000 you would help me send to it to the project consultant that has the text and content logo for my website. So once he has the $5,000, he would send the text content and logo needed for my website to you also. The funds would be sent to him via cash deposit into his account. Sending of funds would be after funds clears into your account and also $100 tip for your stress. 
so I will be looking forward to read back from you. Clearly this is not written by an English speaker, a native English speaker. Hi Russell, why are you unable to deposit the funds to your consultant with his account number? Most banks can do this for you, or you can use money order from Western Union or UPS. USPS. Otherwise, I would suggest your consultant use something like Stripe or PayPal. He replies, I told you, I'm presently in the hospital and the consultant that has the content and the logo does not have the facility to charge credit card. That's why I want to include his fees with your own so I can make the payment of everything together with you and give me your personal cell phone number and we can proceed. Again, asking for my personal cell phone number and you're not going to get it. And so you want me to send your consultant five grand. Nah. Hi Russell, then I suggest your consultant use Stripe or PayPal. He can accept credit cards that way. If your consultant is confused on how to do so, please provide me their name and contact information. I can walk them through setting something up. He says, I said he does not have facility to charge credit cards. That's why I want to include his fees with your own fees. Are you using Stripe? I said, hi, Russell. I will either be using Stripe or PayPal. I understand you said your consultant cannot accept credit cards. I am offering you suggestions on how your consultant can accept credit cards. Or if that is not an option, please send me the funds via money order. Because a money order, I will take your money order. I'll take a $6,500 money order and send $5,000 to your consultant because I'm not losing money that way. He says, okay, I will make the payment with you through Stripe because my card has been restricted with Square and PayPal, convenient, due to overcharge fees, so I will make the payment with you through Stripe, including the consultant fees. So, <laughs> this is a long email chain, as you can clearly see. I've been going on and back and forth with this guy for a little bit. It, it's not really any time off of me, because, you know, it doesn't take me any time to type an email. Um, but, whatevs. I'm using up their time, though. I don't know how much of this is their uh, scripted. They probably just copy their script and paste it into the emails. Hi, Russell. No, I will not be accepting credit card payments for your consultant. If you need me to forward funds to your consultant, the transaction will need to be handled via money order. However, the project can still get started. The items your consultant has would not be needed until shortly before launch, so you have up to two months to get the funds to your consultant. Certainly your son won't be in the hospital having surgery for two months. They didn't reply back after that. Basically, once you say no, they're done with you. Um, I did, in fact, draw up a contract for them to sign, and uh, they didn't, which is also no big deal for me because I already have these contracts, I basically just fill in some blank spaces, and then it's done. Send it off, uh, get an e-sig, what else. Um, I'm half tempted to uh, email them back, and amazingly I can now take credit card payments for your consultant, get the information from them, get the credit card number and the account number, and report both of those to the banks that they're associated with. Um, I may or may not do that, depending on how much time I have. But, so this is obviously the scam. They give you a bad credit card number, and you're supposed to immediately turn around and send $5,000 off to who knows where, and then once they get their $5,000, that credit card gets reported as stolen or whatever, and so now you're out five thousand dollars plus whatever fees from the, the you know the fraudulent billing of that credit card. So uh, don't fall for stuff like this, folks. Don't do it. It's bad, and the less often that they get people, the less lucrative trying stuff like this will be. So, if nobody falls for these, then they won't do them anymore. The sad thing is, people keep falling for these, which is why they keep doing them. Um, usually, the uh, 
the targets are older people who might not be as computer savvy. Now they're supposedly targeting people who should be computer savvy, should be able to recognize these kinds of scams from like eight miles away. Um, but they gotta be, somebody's gotta be falling for this, otherwise they wouldn't keep doing it. But anyway, um, that was uh, my entertainment of yesterday, and they still haven't replied back to me after I said no. We'll see how I feel, whether or not I try to get the billing information from them. I might, just to do a, a civic-minded thing and report those to the banks, but we'll see. Anyway, um, those were some scammers yesterday. Uh, all right. So, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I love trolling scammers. Anyway, so, um, that's that, and happy Thursday, everybody. Okay, bye!